One thing that I see a lot of is, uh, you know, the sport of the stage presentation. Um, and a lot of people start working out for this, but especially when they want to get on stage and, and present themselves, you see a lot of uh, body images uh, issues, body image issues, not Huge. like in the way that... And, you know, either before or they get worse. At, that's after. what I was going to ask yeah. you. So is there like a prerequisite that you say, hey, look, you should probably be comfortable with yourself before you go through this process of trying to change your body radically in, in sometimes dangerous ways and get on stage and then get judged purely by your appearance? Well, the only subjective interpretation or the only way to know is are you doing it because of what you think it will give you to achieve it? Or are you doing it meaning like you're going to get external gratification, people are going to like me more, people are going to think I'm cooler, I'm going to get more confidence, more chicks. That's stupid. If you're doing it because you actually want to challenge yourself and you go, man, you know, I really want to become a better, better version of myself. I think there's, there's value, tremendous value in introducing opportunities for discipline into your life, right? So many people go through life just trying to slide by. Like you should be looking for ways to subject yourself to massive amounts of discipline. Mm. Um, so, you know, whether it be just be daily meditation or daily workouts or a very strict re a regimented nutrition plan, that's an amazing thing to do in your life to mm -hmm. become a better version of yourself. And that's a day-to-day -day process, a day-to-day -day victory rather than, hey, man, I'm just going to go and get in shape for a show because I think chicks will like me more. Or I think I want to I get a sponsorship. All that stuff is just dumb and it's fleeting. Mm -hmm. um, so it has to depend where you're coming from. There's also the big issue of the, the rebound post-show. Uh, yeah. And uh, you mentioned discipline. And the, uh, one of the problems I tend to see, and, and maybe you can shed some light on this, is if someone who doesn't have much discipline at all uses a show as a way to gain discipline, but then the show is over and they lose all of it. And you see these crazy weight gains. You know, I know people who gain 20 or 30 pounds in like a month. Dude, I've seen a woman gain 50 pounds in under six weeks. and that was Post show? Post show. Insane. She was in incredible shape and she still hasn't lost it. And it's 10 years later. That's a huge problem. And there's a lot of reasons why that happens. Um, and that's why, to be honest, I try to dissuade most people from setting the goal of competing, right? Setting the, set a goal of getting in the best shape of your life, setting the goal of um, feeling the best you've ever looked, training harder you ever have, have a regimented diet. That is a goal worth having. Um, setting the goal of competing just to compete, it's nice to have an external goal, to be honest. And that's how I got into competing. I was like, well, I just want something to kind of strive for. But um, it's, it's a very, very dangerous place to be because you're going to change your perspective with food. You're going to change your perspective uh, of your body. Like you're going, to, you're going to look at your body differently. Your standard now goes from like, you know, hey, I look great the way I am to now I have to be under 8% body fat all year round, mm -hmm. otherwise I'm fat. And that just changes your psyche. So you really have to look within yourself and go, why am I doing this? And, you know, is it healthy?